Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite notes in perfumery and that is the note of iris. I love iris, I love all purple flowers, I love anything that smells powdery, clean and fresh at the same time. It is for me such a comforting scent, it is something that I enjoy wearing and anytime a fragrance has iris in it, you can bet that I am probably going to give it a sniff. So <laughs> I have sort of my top 10 fragrances in my collection that feature the note of iris in a way that uh, really speaks to me and I thought I would share them with you today for other iris lovers. Um, so the first fragrance I have to talk about is from Mise en Cire. This is Bois Iridescent. And this is a fragrance that um, definitely is very iris forward, but also features a little bit of citruses um, along with like a musky fragrance. And I just love this fragrance. It's really clean. It's really fresh. It's really sparkling. It's one that I love to wear during the daytime. It definitely is like a wake me up kind of scent um, and definitely a fragrance that I am very happy to have added to my collection last year. Next up, I have a fragrance from Chanel. I have several fragrances from Chanel that feature the note of iris, um, but I tried to keep it to kind of one per house uh, for this video. And I would say this one is sort of like my favorite iris fragrance of all of the Chanel iris fragrances, and that is number 19, Poudre. This is a really, as the name implies, powdery number 19, which is a green fresh um iris that is really clean for me again very comforting very soft this is one i used to really enjoy wearing to the office um because it's one that i don't think uh anyone would find kind of too perfumey or headache inducing it's just a really beautiful light fresh fragrance it's not overly floral um and it's just really really a beautiful fragrance makes me so happy and sometimes I forget to wear this one so definitely uh, this is a reminder for me to maybe add this to my tray for the month of May. Next up from Van Cleef & Arpels I have Bois de Iris which is a really beautiful woody iris fragrance. This one features a lot of woody notes. It is soft, it's powdery, it's comforting. There's a little vanilla it's just warm, inviting. A lot of people say iris is cold. I don't necessarily think it's cold. I feel like it depends what the iris is sort of blended with, um, but uh, when I smell like iris, the flowers, I definitely don't get a cold scent, but definitely powdery and clean and fresh. Um, but yeah, I love it uh, in this fragrance, and I think this one is a very delicate iris and one that I wear, again, um, all that I've talked about so far are really more daytime scents for me, but uh, this one, because of that woodiness, um, I could definitely wear into the evenings and it's just a beautiful fragrance for any time of day, any time of year. Love this fragrance. Next up is my newest iris fragrance in my collection that I just fell head over heels for. This is from Christian Louboutin and this is Luby Rouge. And this fragrance is just a simple iris vanilla cardamom fragrance, but to me, it's such a different take on iris, and it's really opened my eyes to iris and vanilla and how they pair together. This one's a little sweeter. It's still very soft, very comforting, has some spices in there, and it's just lovely. You can wear this definitely any time of day, any time of year, um, and one that has been getting a lot of love since I um, got it earlier this year. Next up is a fragrance from Guerlain. This is Insolence, and Insolence is really more of a violet fragrance, but violet and iris are kind of similar to me in that sort of powdery purple blue flower uh, family, and I feel like this particular fragrance is super sweet. Um, this is like a candied violet fragrance, but there's definitely some iris in this as well. It is so soft, so comforting. This is one I like to wear to bed often, and it is just a really beautiful fragrance that just brings me so much joy and comfort every time I wear it. Next up, I have a truly musky iris fragrance that I love to wear around the house. This one is from Diptyque, and it is Fleur de Peau. And this is a fragrance that when I first smelled it, I wasn't sure if I loved it. There is definitely kind of some strong, almost, it's a musk fragrance, but it is like a stronger musk fragrance. And um, it kind of packs a punch right when you smell it, like I'm smelling it out of the bottle right now. But as it wears, it just becomes this beautiful, clean, 
skin scent that again features that powdery iris in there that makes it so soft comforting and beautiful so I would say I thought it was going to be too sharp for me but um, I ended up absolutely loving it so yeah that's Fleur de Peau from Diptyque Next up is a fragrance that a lot of people describe as your skin but better. This is from Glossier and this is You. And this is a fragrance that when I first smelled it, it wasn't like the iris really jumped out at me. In fact, it took me a while to even realize that was iris that I was smelling, but I knew it was powdery. It's very soft. It's also very musky and it is just a fragrance that is very, um, again, daytime scent for me. Um, it's fresh, it's clean, it smells like your, the way you want your skin to smell. Um, and I just really love this for day-to-day -day use. This is another one that I think would be great if you work in an office space or work around a lot of people. Uh, definitely not a strong, headache-inducing, perfumey type of scent, but one that I really enjoy. Next up from Narciso Rodriguez, I have Narciso Rouge, the cube. This is a beautiful Narciso musk combined with a powdery, almost like lipsticky um, cosmetic fragrance of iris, which is another um, way I like to wear iris. I would also say the Fleur de Peau that I just talked about, that also is a little bit of that sort of... Um, cosmetic-y type of fragrance or makeup-y scent. I love that that type of fragrance and often when I smell um, kind of older vintage fragrances they kind of feature iris in that way and I just absolutely love it. Next up from Parfums de Marly is probably my deepest form of iris that I have in on this list and this is Athalia. Now Athalia is a fragrance that really um, when I first smelled it, it blew me away. It was like my favorite fragrance from Parfums de Marly because I love Iris so much. Um, and as I've had it for several years now, I would say it has changed from something I used to think was sort of clean and fresh and like very Iris forward to something that is a little bit deeper. Um, there is definitely some incense in this scent and it it has more of a nighttime feel to me so what was once something i thought i would wear just all the time i now reserve more for going out in the evenings i still think it's absolutely beautiful but it's a little bit stronger than some of the other fragrances i have on this list and i just find it to be absolutely breathtaking so yeah that is athalia from parfums de marley and last but certainly not least is the iris fragrance that I think I've had the longest in my collection. This has been in and out of my collection for years since I discovered this fragrance and it is probably my favorite of all of my iris fragrances. This is from Prada. This is Infusion to Iris. And this was probably the fragrance that kind of introduced me to how much I really love iris. I've always loved powdery scents. I love the iris that is in a lot of Chanel number no. five fragrances. Um, but this one is just like a fresh, clean, soapy, almost iris fragrance that I get so much comfort out of. And yet it makes me feel um, like I said, clean and fresh. It invigorates me. It's something I used to love wearing when I worked in an office environment and I still wear it as I'm working from home. Um, it is probably like to me when someone really loves Iris, I ask them if they've tried this fragrance. Usually they have, usually they have it in their collection, but um, it is like my favorite Iris fragrance. So those are my top 10 fragrances from my collection that feature the notes of Iris. If there are any Iris fragrances out there that you think I should know about, please leave it in the comments below. I remember someone telling me or a lot of people telling me that Luby Rouge is one that I should check out and I'm so happy that I did and I'm sure there are others out there that are maybe a different take on Iris that I just haven't gotten my nose on yet. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next video and have a great day. Bye.